Karibu kwenye chaneli ya Dr. Mlelo Lectures. Tunafundisha masomo ya sayansi, yani biology, kemia, physics pamoja na mathematics kwa syllabus ya Tanzania kwa level za O level pamoja na advance. Usisahau kusubscribe na kubonyeza alama ya kengele ili uweze kupewa taarifa kwa kila video ambayo tutakuwa tunarusha. Lakini pia waweza kupata notes pamoja na maswali au kufanya discussion na wanafunzi wenzako kwenye grupu la Dr. Blelo Students. Bonyeza show more kwenye sehemu ya comment na utaziona linki za magrupu ambazo utafungua na Telegram. Kama unatumia kompyuta utafungua na Telegram desktop au utafungua na Telegram application kwa simu yako. Ukitaka kupata masomo mengine aliyoyafundishwa, bonyeza icon ya kwenye channel alafu itatafuta baada ya nenda kwenye playlist itakuletea topiki utachagua topiki unayotaka kusoma na utaanza kuangalia video bure kabisa nikutakie kipindi chema welcome back friends in today's topic we are going to discuss about coordination in plant the first of this session i am dr mela and this is the continuation of our coordination topic so as we discussed in the previous session in the previous session we finished here our endocrinology study and we discussed the about the function of pancreas and as i told you that we didn't study all hormones in endocrinology because some of the hormones they can be studied in other topics such as reproduction and other topics which specify some type of hormones such as reproductive hormones we studied in the production and other hormones will be studied when we are uh, discussing about those systems or those kind of mechanisms in the human body. Now today we are going to continue our topic of coordination and I'm going to use my coordination notes so for the need of notes you can visit my, my blog and I will put the link of the in the description below of my telegram group you can visit my telegram group there you will find the link of my blog and in the in my blog you can find my my coordination notes so i will not be able to write everything on the board but i will write only a few things and for more detail you can visit my blog you can find the notes there now let's start uh, our discussion on coordination in plant as we studied in animals animals they possess two systems of coordination they have uh, hormonal coordination and then they have neural coordination. So animals, as we say in India, that they possess two, two systems of coordination, probably because animals, they require locomotion. They want to search for food, so they require locomotion. While plants, they, they have ability to produce their own food, so they do not require locomotion. Ability to produce their own food in the plant seed, enable them to have only one coordination system and that one coordination system is able to maintain all activities of the plant and is sufficient for the growth and the sustaining of the plant activities. Now what we are saying is that unlike animals, plant do not possess two nervous systems and rely entirely on a chemical coordination that is hormonal coordination. Their responses are therefore slower and often involve growth. So many of the responses in the plants they involve growth. So it is either inhibition of the growth or promotion of the growth. So growth in turn can result in the movement of an organ. Most of, uh, of times when we are discussing about the movement in the plants or even in coordination plants as, as I told you here that it, it is the growth which results into coordination in the plant. So uh, any mechanism or any sensation in the plant can lead into a certain kind of growth and that growth can lead to movement. So movement is like a response in the plant. Or when the plant responds here to always, it is movement. It is movement in the plant growth. Now when we are talking of plant movement, we have almost three types of plant movements. Let's go to discuss about the plant movements. Now, plant movement is the characteristic of a plant that they do not show locomotion. Plants, they do not show locomotion.
Locomotion ni movement ambayo the whole living organism on a move from one place to another. Now plants will not show locomotion, but what they show is that a certain part of plant can move, not the whole plant. Kwa hatujawahi kuona mti umehama kutoka hapa umeenda eneo jingine. Baadhi tu ya maajabu yanayotokea kwa mfano msitu wa Amazon unaweza kukuta leo kuna tree somewhere na ukakuta siku nyingine ukienda pale there is no that tree ile tree tali imesha ondoka hizo magic zinatokea tu baadhi ya maeneo kama huko Amazon kama nilivyokuambia lakini that is not usual in normal condition ukikuta tree same plant always kwa kukuta siku nyingine imehama imengoka inaenda sehemu nyingine kama tree au any plant ingekuwa inaweza kufanya such kind of movement we could call it the block motion but because a tree or any plant cannot perform such kind of movement now we are saying that the plant cannot locomote kwa plant ye hapani locomotion anacho kifanya ye only part of that plant can undergo movement and more especially ile part of plant ambayo undergo movement lazima ye ni part of plant ambayo yenyewe na grow at faster rate as compared to other parts of the plant now what we are saying is that However, movement of individual plant organs are possible. Plant organs, movement of individual plant organs are possible and they are modified by sensitivity of the plant to external stimulus or to external stimuli. Now, what causes the plant to move in a certain direction is the external stimuli. Presence of external stimuli in a plant in order to undergo a certain kind of movement and we have three types of movement first we have tropism or tropic movement then we have taxis or tax tact movement and the last we have nastic movement now let's uh, go to discuss uh, one type of movement after another and it is example and some kind of uh, significance of such kind of movement in the plant and most of the time even in exams you can be asked that explain types of movement in plants the examples or the categories and the advantage in the plant why is that movement advantage as the plant kwa sababu plant haifanyi movement ili enjoy no plant haifanyi movement kama kama ambapo watu wanaenda beach to refresh no plant inafanya movement ili ipate advantage plant na unaweza kugundua kwamba kwa sehemu plant inaweza ikawa imetuzidi akili hata wanadamu kwamba wanadamu tunaweza kutoka somewhere kwenda another area ili to refresh mwanadamu anaweza katoka somewhere kwenda labda maybe beach in order maybe to refresh akubadilisha mazingira but plant undergoes movement in order to do a certain or to acquire a certain environment or to acquire nutrient and things like that now let's start with the tropism tropism a very common movement which occur in almost all plants in almost all plants and what i can say is that Almost all plants or all categories of plants they undergo tropism. However, the type of tropism which different plants they undergo can differ from one plant to another. Lakini kila plant an undergo tropism. Kwa mtu kusema kuhusu tropism ni kwamba tropism is the movement of a part of the plant in response to and be directed by external stimulus. It is the movement of a part of the plant in response to and directed by external stimulus. Kwa hiyo kwanza uangalie, uangalie this definition, this definition they are very important and it is very important to understand the differences between tropism, taxis and nastic movement. In tropism it is the movement of the plant in response to and not only in response to but also it is directed by the external stimulus. Kwa hiyo kwanza hii movement ya plant inakuwa inasababishwa na external stimulus. Lakini pili hiyo movement it lazima iwe directed by external stimulus now always in tropism the movement is either towards the external stimulus or away from external stimulus if the movement is towards the external stimulus we call it as the positive tropism then if the movement is away from the external stimulus we call it as the negative tropism kwa ushauri kwanza kwa kwenye categories we have two major categories of tropism we have positive and negative tropism lakini tunapenda ku classify tropism pia according to the type of stimuli ambayo may stimulate plant we will have different kinds of tropism kwa hiyo sasa 
Mega tu katoto isotropisi utakuta kuna positive na negative lakini nakwenda kwenye steam line maybe light kuna baadhi ya plant zitandago zitakuwa positive nyingine zitakuwa negative na inategemea na plant kwa nini ifanye mume however most of the plants they are positive kwenye light kwa sababu gani zina require light for photosynthesis kwa hiyo tunasema ni kwamba tropism is the movement of plant in response to and directed by the external stimuli or in other words we can define it as in the direction of movement of a fixed party of stationary plant organs direction of movement of fixed part of stationary plant ko plant anakuwa yuko stationary lakini a certain part of the plant tend to move ko kwa mfano mimi hapa niko stationary lakini my hand can move now this is the direction of movement of my hand but myself i am stationary so in, in the direction of movement of a fixed part party of a fixed party of a stationary plant in response to external stimulus now the movement is almost always a growth movement in tropism a movement is a growth movement and tropic responses are described as positive or negative depending on whether the growth is towards or away from the stimulus respectively is a topic before kwamba kama ikiwa towards the stimulus we call it is positive tropism and if it is away from the stimulus we call it is negative tropism now we have the table here in my notes we have the table and in this table uh, there are some kind of summarization in this table there is some kind of summarization uh summarization to types of tropism depending on uh different kinds of of stimulus now we have about about the, One, two, three, six. It's just like six, six kinds of stimulus. And depending on these six types of stimulus, we have six different types of tropism. Now we have uh, first this HIIT tropism. Now in tropism we have light. In tropism we have gravity. And then in tropism we have chemical chemical stimuli we have um, water is a stimuli then we have um, touch is a stimuli and then we have um, air is a stimuli so depending on these are uh, six types of stimuli we will have six different types of tropism is the stimuli is your tropism is in stimuli now in light we call it as phototropism manake light hapo ni photo photo then tropism kwa hiyo for example in, in phototropism we have shoots shoots yani shoot ni, ni kama sehemu ya juu ya mmea kile kikonyo cha juu cha mmea ambapo ndiko unakuwa kwenda juu shoots and coleopters positively phototropic ukipanda mbegu unakuta automatically ile shoot na go kwenda juu na roots na go kwenda chini that means the shoots they are positively phototropic while the roots they are negatively phototropic kwa roots zinakimbia mwanga wakati shoots zina move towards light kwa shoots they are positively phototropic advantage hii ni kwamba leaves exposes to light which is source of light for photosynthesis that is the advantage of positive uh, phototropic response in leaves and collectives or in shoots and collectives and then we have some roots negatively phototropic some roots kwa sababu gani sio roots zote zinazo grow kwenda chini some of the roots zina zina grow kusambaa tu ili kwenye eneo ili kuweza ku absorb more water kuna different kinds of adaptation in plants some of the plants zina grow roots kwenda chini ili kuweza ku absorb water kwa hiyo some of the plant zina grow roots kwenda kwenda laterally lakini pia mia ni ku absorb water Kuzile zinazo grow kwenda hata ile maji zina absorb sana water ambayo iko near to the surface. While this is another grow kwenda chini maji zina absorb water which is deep to the earth is crust. Ko hicho ndicho jambo ambalo tunazungumzia kuhusu tropism. Now in roots it is important because it exposes the roots more likely to grow towards soil or even to suitable substance. 
and in the soil they can get uh, nutrients they can get water and things like that so that is phototropism and then from there we have gravity which is geotropism so geo represents gravity then tropism Geotropism to na shoot the correctly they are negatively geotropic because I'm not your gravity now to go downward. If the gravity pulls it downward, then man at the shoot the correctly because they go upward, they are negatively geotropic. Co shoot the correctly they are negatively geotropic. Why? Because they are going in negative direction as compared with the gravity. That is important because of that shoots of germinating seeds will go upward. Through soil towards the light. Kono kujia kwa na ni kama bila advantage na pata na panana, lakini different types of phototropic, I mean different types of tropical responses. Iya kwa zaidi kwa ni light ni gravity. Lakini pia tuna roots which are possibly geotropic, roots is possibly geotropic yana wanaweza kwa na chini and there they absorb water and nutrients and things like that. They penetrate the soil. Because they are possibly geotropic. Like we have, we have rhizomes, runners, and the, 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 the geotropic. The geotropic, you go back. The minerals grow on the chain, but they grow laterally. Compound on the mirror, come at angles. They don't grow to downward, but they grow laterally. Come on, mirror, when a rhizomes, in a store, they are food in rhizomes. They grow on the downward, but but they grow laterally. Here, tonight, it's a company. Dia geotropic, dia geotropic mana ke zinagro lateral. It's not downward, it's not upward. It's the lateral. Ia ni the flat. It's some kind like not affected by gravity. And this helps the plant to colonize new area of soil. Mana ke is origin zinagro zinagro lateral. They are colonize new area of soil, and from there they get nutrients and things like that. From there also we have the leaves of dicotyledonous dicotyledonous plants. As we know, the leaves of the heterogeneous plants most of the time they they lie flat. Come to discuss the nutrition that the flat line of the leaves they allow them to take more light. And as they lie flat, they are taking more light, and that light enables them to perform all the process of thinness. Like in here, the response I'm going to talk about now, here also we be a geotropic. Be a geotropic. Come and come here, and come flat. As in down and down. Upward. This only the cotyledonous leaves only. When you want to cut cotyledonous leaves, always then you want to cut up the mesmama. So the phenomenon is different from the the cotyledonous leaves. Now, flat surfaces of leaves will gain maximum exposure to sunlight. Um, in this session, let me end up here. In the next session, I will continue the tropism, and then I will I will, I will go to taxes, and if the time will allow me, I will move to. Nasty movement. Don't forget to share this video to your fellow friends, and don't forget to uh, to join my Telegram group. Visit there; you see the link for my blog. Don't forget to go into my blog and just follow my blog. So, is when you will be posting every kind of things, you will be given an email that I posted some maps, some questions, and things like that. Thank you, everybody. Let me wish you nice studies. Thank you.